reason why I chose a skull more than anything else is because underneath all our skin is a skull. It's the universal image to everybody. La forma que puede usar todos esos colores y traer a su personaje a la vida es, es algo muy bello. My name is Butch Loxon. I'm a contemporary performance artist here in Los Angeles. I wear a skull mask and I play with smoke grenades. My work is reflective of Mexican culture and iconography and artwork. Maria saw a lot of the photos that I was doing and she wanted to actually collaborate on a project and integrating her into what I do has been really fun and successful. Me llamo Maria Perez y soy un artista. Comencé a pintar cuando tenía alrededor de 21 años. Más o menos solo cayó en mi plato, básicamente. A mí siempre me ha gustado mucho el Día de los Muertos. Entonces, cuando vi su arte, me trajo ideas a cosas que pudiera yo tal vez hacer con él. María, to me, has been such a blessing because now the character, the skeleton and color is actually married to her. And we've been creating like love scenes and stories. Colaborar con él como que ha sido una forma de expresarme y de, de ver la vida en otra forma, no, una nota más positiva. I really like the Day of the Dead holiday. It's not about celebrating someone's death, it's more about celebrating someone's life. My artwork and my performance is kind of a, a little bit of a reflection of that, that even though I kind of represent myself as like this death character, you know, I'm very much alive. Me encanta lo que Bocho está haciendo porque pienso que sí está trayendo esa celebración a muchos lugares donde tal vez la gente no, no conoce esas tradiciones mexicanas y, y lo bello que son. What I love about performance art is honestly the brush that I get from working with so many people. You know, it makes me want to go out there and create some more and do something different. Lo que estamos tratando de, de hacer es um, en conjunto exponer más arte Algo nuevo, algo que nadie ha visto antes. People make assumptions all the time. So let's get the record straight. If I was a drug addict, how could I have possibly have done all this? I'm Lisa Frank, and this madness that you see and all this excitement started with me. I know that you weren't comfortable being on camera. Is there an element to the secrecy? Well, the secrecy has worked for so long. Like, will I come out of the closet? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to disappoint anybody. What if I'm not who they want me to be? Our look has really been consistent for 30 years. And people have tried to tell me, bright colors aren't in, you should do pastels. And it's not who I am. We are entering the vault that has all the original artwork in it. Hmm. Okay, I better figure out how to open it before you film it. The room is fireproof so that we don't lose the original art. But look how bright everything still is. We were involved in the big sticker craze in the 80s. Then it went to school supplies because a sticker is an inch to three inches so it was more fun to get the art bigger. And you can see it says library sample, do not remove. That means like it's probably one, one of a kind. Yeah. In hindsight, we could have been even smarter, like keeping 12 of everything. But there are some things I don't even have. It was so exciting because we were onto something that no one else was really onto. I mean, people thought I had horns coming out of my head when I would suggest things early on. 
the building's more than 300,000 square feet. And at one time, like every bay was filled up with trucks that were shipping product out of here. In the beginning, we probably had 30 artists at one time. Unfortunately, now we don't need as many people in the art department because things are much easier on the computer. So you now are doing only licensing? Right. Now what we do is we do the artwork for a whole bunch of other companies who are then making it and shipping it. I don't think I ever want to be a manufacturer again. That takes away from who I am and what I really love to do is to do artwork. We want to round out his face a little bit so he looks a little cuter. I've obviously learned a ton over the years, but in terms of the artwork and the process, I would say that hasn't changed at all. It was never about making money. It was about making good product. It's like my world is washed out and I see fewer shades of color than most people do. So normal people see a million colors. I may see as many as a hundred million. My name is Wendy. I'm a producer at CNN and I am colorblind. My name is Maureen Seberg. I'm a tetrachromat and I'm an author. Tetrachromacy is the presence of a fourth cone class in your retina. If I keep naming my invisible colors, maybe I'll have my own Crayola box one day. <laughs> when I was in kindergarten, my teacher called my parents because I was coloring the leaves of my trees and the trunks of my trees the same color because I couldn't really see the difference between green and brown. The only time it was ever overwhelming is a paint contractor came to my house and brought no fewer than 32 samples before I was satisfied that it was a true beige. When I pick out clothes, that's hard. I have been known to buy the outfit that the mannequin is wearing because I know that that goes together. You don't want to go clothing shopping with me because the salespeople tell me, but it matches and I can only look at them sympathetically and keep looking. Um, I never think like, oh, if I weren't colorblind, it would be so much easier to get dressed in the morning. It's just, it's kind of part of me. I guess I'm a unicorn or something. <laughs> In many, many different cultures, the rainbow appears as a symbol of hope, beauty, love. In many ways, the rainbow flag might be more important than ever. Our story begins in San Francisco in the late 1960s. Young gay men, lesbian women were arriving from all over the country and all around the world. Many of them fleeing places where they were experiencing incredible violence and repression. One of those men was Gilbert Baker. Everyone was aware of Gilbert. He was extremely dramatic. I think the operative word would be flamboyant. That's Cleve Jones. He wrote this book. When We Rise, My Life in the Movement. Cleve and Gilbert met as two young activists planning the 1977 San Francisco Gay Pride event. Back then it was called Gay Freedom Day. We were all part of a circle of activists who were talking about the need for a new symbol that would connect us all. And one day, Gilbert told Cleve about an idea he had come up with. He showed me the drawings he'd done, and I saw the power of it right away. And each color had special significance. One color meant love, another was... Honestly, I think he kind of made that up after the fact. It came to him, as he said, from the sky. With a team of volunteers, including Cleve, Gilbert sewed and dyed the flags in preparation for Gay Freedom Day. When those first flags went up these enormous poles and the wind took them and lifted them up against the blue sky, it was really breathtaking. Gilbert and I stood there and watched and we knew that everybody that was there was looking up at those rainbows and knowing at that exact moment that this now would be our symbol. To take this beautiful symbol from nature and say, this is the symbol of these people who were called unnatural, who were required to live in the shadows, 
he really devoted his life not only to making flags, but banners. For a few weeks between the wet and dry seasons, this seemingly ordinary looking river bursts to life with colour. Cano Cristales is located in Meta, Colombia. When the conditions are just right, an endemic aquatic plant species that lives in the riverbed blooms, creating a brilliant show of red colour often with hints of yellow, orange, green and blue. Because of this, locals refer to the river as the liquid rainbow, or the river of five colours. Before 2009, Lucano Cristales was closed off to the public due to guerrilla activity in the surrounding region. Today, the river can be reached by horseback or by foot and is accessible under the guidance of local tour guides. Although this phenomenon only happens for a short period of time each year, this living rainbow leaves a lasting impression. <laughs> 